I want to get it over to Brigida. Thank you, Delano. Now on bounce, we cannot say it enough. One in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. One of those one in eight is Frances Acker. She is also a 10-year breast cancer survivor. I'm thrilled to have her here on Bounce tonight. Uh, thank you for being here, Frances. You're welcome. So first, talk a little bit about your story, and then we'll get to also why you're here tonight. Well, I'm here tonight. My story is that I am a 10-year breast cancer survivor, mm -hmm. of course, and I'm here to let women know, and men too, because men can have breast cancer also. How were you diagnosed? Was it a self-breast exam? Was it a yearly mammogram? Talk to me about a what mammogram. led to your diagnosis. A yearly mammogram. That's why I urge women to do mammograms. The early detection is the key. What stage were you when they diagnosed you? A three. So you were stage three. Mm-hmm. And uh, was that your first mammogram that you had got ever gotten, or? It wasn't. Okay. That was a. Uh, about the third one. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. I had cancer before. I'm a two-year cancer survivor. Mm. I had cervical cancer some years ago. Wow. And then breast cancer came, you know. After that. After that. So and I am strong and true and very, you know, that all women should be stand up for themselves, you know. Yeah. You know your body, you know, and you know you should go to, you know, go to radiology, get mammograms. Mm-hmm. Early, so Absolutely. you can catch it and kill it because I'm a warrior. You are. Miss Francis says, I am strong. I'm strong. And she calls herself a warrior. I love it. I'm a so warrior. So you are here tonight uh, to talk about the Pink Warriors Against Cancer Luncheon. For, correct. Mm -hmm. I'm having that on October the 28th at where I attend church at St. John Missionary Baptist Church in Gastonia, mm -hmm. North Carolina, yeah. under guidance of Dr. Daryl Jackson, his wife Emily, and associate Dr. Percent and his wife Loretta. Uh -huh. I love my church and my church family. And so they're providing the venue for this. This is coming up on October 28th, yes? October the 28th, okay. and my luncheon is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, where the money raised from this luncheon, where is it going to go? All my proceeds will go to Susan G. Kuhlman of Charlotte. And we know that that is huge. Uh, and I'm on the Team Molly. You, that's right. You were on <laughs> Team Molly. Uh, mm -hmm. You came out for a race for the cure uh, mm -hmm. this past weekend. We mm -hmm. appreciate that. Um, you know, what, what do you want to say to folks to motivate them to come out to your luncheon? Why should they come? I will have on-site uh, Dr. W uh, William Charles, my oncology doctor. Mm -hmm. He can answer questions for both women and men. In fact, I was in his office uh, two weeks ago. There were two men in with breast cancer. So it's important, you know, they would enjoy, they're going to enjoy my program because it's going to be educational. And I have a panel with doctors can answer questions. Okay, so you're going to be able to get your questions answered, learn some new things. Uh, a luncheon, I'm assuming there's going to be some food. There'll be food. There's going to be food. Uh -huh. um, and so it's just going to be a, a great day for folks to come together to raise awareness and fight for a cure. It will. Enjoyable. Let's put up the information. When I give you, uh, put the event here on the screen to reinforce what we've been talking about. Coming up October 28th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, the Pink Warriors Against Cancer Luncheon at St. John's Missionary Baptist Church. That is in Gastonia. The proceeds benefit the Susan G. Komen Foundation of Charlotte. Uh, Francis Acker, we certainly appreciate your time tonight and you for being here. It was such an enjoyable pleasure to stand beside Begina Mac. <laughs> And I you have enjoyed much. my interview with you, too. Well, thank you so okay. much, Ms. Francis. I appreciate that. And I hope that your event goes well and you keep fighting. You and keep being a warrior. Thank you. All right, Delano, back to you. Thank you so much.